Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal video. Today I'm going to play with my supplies by Art by Marlene and here's a little art journal book that I made in a previous video. This is a handmade art journal and to create that I used this set of dies. You will find the video linked up there as well as at the end of this one if you want to see how I made it and uh, there are also a couple of pages inside that I created in that first video. I used my dilution sprays, these are die cuts by Art by Marlene, as well as the sentiments are also from a booklet. Everything that you see here is back in stock at Joggles. If you want them, go ahead and grab them now because Art by Marlene products sell out super quickly. Now the die set that I have here is a sample die set, so it comes with way more dies than you will actually get when you get this uh, product. And that's because uh, if they had all these dies in one product, it would uh, make it quite expensive. That's why they removed these two dies that I'm taking out now, as well as the border die. Let me remove that as well, so you can see exactly what you get when you buy this die set. So in your set, you will get those embellishment uh, dies, which are the stars, as well as the, those three ones. You will also get this die that cuts out the pages and the outside die that cuts out the cover. Now I like to use the die to create pages and a very simple way to create your art journal layouts is to use die cuts from those booklets. These are back in stock at Joggles, you will find the links down below. They have really colorful and fun designs and they make perfect uh, uh, focal points for your layouts. Now, the way that I'm working on this little mini art journal is really fun and perfect for uh, beginners, as well as for those of you that don't want to spend too much time, but they want to be creative for just a few minutes throughout the day. So here's the first page where I made and here is another one. I like to create the backgrounds and you, if you have seen the first video, then you know all about it. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. Now, as I was uh, browsing through those pages today, I realized that I haven't made any pages with blues. And this is very strange for me since blue is my favorite color, any shade of blue. That's why I cut out a couple of pages so that I can insert them in my booklet. And this time I'm working with two shades of blue. These are the Dilutions ink sprays and I'm working with London Blue and um, Vibrant Turquoise. I'm starting by spraying all over the page with water. This is going to help the inks to blend even better. And I want to oversaturate the page. I applied the two colors on top of my page and now I'm going back to water and I'm going to spray lots of water there. Now I have a lot of ink on top of my page and I'm going to place the other page that I cut out on top of it. This way I end up having two backgrounds at once. You can help the ink to spread out with some uh, brush if you want to or you can spray on top even more if you want to do that. I'm just going to grab my heat gun and uh, make sure that all the pages are dry. Now my heat gun is the one by wow, it doesn't have only melts embossing powder, it has two settings and I'm using the one that dries now. And when the pages were both dry, I flipped them over and repeated the same process on the other side. So here are the pages now and I'm going to play with a stencil. I love the stencil because it has all these different patterns and I'm going to add some visual texture on my pages. Now there are different ways to apply texture. For the first page, I am going to add on top the darker shade of sprays that I used. I am flipping it over. This way I clean up my stencil at once and add texture on the other side. I'm going to use this paper towel over the spraying area just because it was too vibrant and I like it better this way. Now at the back I'm going to repeat the same process but this time I'm going to use the lighter shade of blue that I used for the background. In any case, I'm not introducing any new colors. I like my backgrounds to be quite subtle. Although I end up having enough texture, it's not going to be as vibrant when I will stick the focal points on top. You will see what I mean later on. Now for the other double page, I'm going to do something different. Instead of using my spray inks, I'm going to use water 
go over it with water, this is going to react with the ink, it's going to lift it and create that ghost effect. So I'm using just some uh, paper towel here and then at the back I will repeat the exact same process with water. These are really fun techniques to create uh, quick and simple backgrounds. You will have a great impact, especially if you use stencils on top of them. And those um, Dilutions ink sprays are absolutely gorgeous, they are vibrant. They are kind of foolproof, you always end up with stunning uh, backgrounds as long as you follow the color theory and you don't mix up colors that they end up looking like mud. Another fun technique is stamping. This is going to add lots of uh, visual texture on the background. For that I'm using stamps from the Art by Marlene stamp set with all those doodles. I like to keep them in a tin box so that I can grab them easily. I'm going to play with them and I don't like to stamp with a very vibrant color there. Since I want this to still keep it at the background, that's why I'm using a dark blue uh, ink. This is archival ink. So it's not going to smudge or smear whatever you do on top. And I'm switching in between different uh, doodle stamps there for different pages. Remember that when I place those pages inside the book, they are not going to be next to each other. So it doesn't really matter if these are identical. You will see what I mean once I put the book together. From my doodle stamps, I picked some uh, small swirls. I also picked uh, little stars, I did work with lots of dots and uh, finally I'm also going to use these barcodes. These doodle stamp sets give you so many options so it's super easy to just grab one and start working with it for your background. Now I'm going to put those uh, stamps aside and I'm going to bring in my little book and uh, I will browse through the pages and decide where I want these blue ones to be. And here is how my little art journal is looking at the moment. Now, I did use the die six times, which means that now I have front and back 24 pages to work with. And I'm browsing through it quickly so you can see all the different colors and how happy it looks. Now I'm going to take out one of the pages and for today I decided to go with the blue one since it's the new one on my book and I just made it. And I will make four little layouts using booklets by Marlene. So these are the booklets that I'm talking about. I just uh, pick up different bits and pieces and stick them on the pages. And there is another one. Again, both of them are now available at Joggles and you will find the links down below. And I will also add sentiment from the sentiments booklet. So since I'm working on a blue page, I'm just going to browse through the different pages and decide what I want. And I think that this is going to work perfectly for the pages. So I'm going to start with a boat first. I'm just going to pop it out of the page. When I'm working with these die cuts, I always like to go all around the edges to get rid of that white edge. I'm using my marker all around and I think that uh, little details like that are not necessary, but they really make a difference. The die cut that I picked is quite big, so when I place it on the page, you can see that it goes outside of the page. That's why I'm going to use my scissors and decide of the placement and then I will use the scissors to cut out part of the flag. Notice that I'm going to cut out the flag as if it was meant to be this way. So when I place it down, it's not going to go over the fold. I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue and stick everything down. And for that, of course, you can use any type of glue that you like. It looks like I'm adding a ton of glue, but really, this is a very thin layer. I don't add too much, as I don't want the paper to warp. By the way, the pages that I created are made out of heavy watercolor paper, which means that it takes uh, watercolor nicely. I did add tons of water, if you remember, but it stayed nice and flat. Now I'm going to pick a sentiment from this booklet. I love it because it includes lots of motivational ones and some of them are absolutely hilarious. For this page, I decided to go with one that says enjoy life, it is not a rehearsal, it is the real thing. This book has another fun thing. It, all the um, 
Sentiments come in three different colors, so you get each sentiment into white with black letters, into black with white letters, as well as in craft. I cut the quote into smaller pieces. If you don't press the stickers too much, you will be able to lift them and move them around until you are happy with their placement, and then you can uh, really put some pressure on them to stick nicely on your page. Now I'm also going to stick down three hearts. These are also from the booklet. And now I'm going to call this done and I'm going to start doing my little details with my black and white markers. So here I'm using my black thin marker to go around the stickers and add the border. Then I'm also going to bring in my white gel pen and add some highlights here and there. And I'm also going to add some highlights at the back following the pattern of my background. Now at this stage I'm really happy with how the first page is looking and I'm going to go ahead and start working on the second page. Again I'm going to bring in the same booklet and I did see that uh, lighthouse before so I'm going to pop it out and again I'm going to repeat the same techniques. I will go with a black marker around the edges to get rid of the white edge. I'm going to stick that down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. And if you notice, I never like to stick my focal points at the center of my page. I always like to offset it somehow. And even if it goes outside of the page, it doesn't really matter for me. So I'm using my scissors to cut out the excess paper. And now I'm going to pick a sentiment again from the booklet. For this page, I went with the one that says, In a world where we can be anything, be kind. I'm going to stick it down again, cut it into smaller parts, align it across my page and just like I did before I'm going to use my black and white marker. Now I was really happy with the second page and now I'm going to flip it over and start working on another page. This time I picked this die cut which is a seahorse with wings. And as I was trying to find different bits and pieces to embellish my page even more, I find in this booklet all those little uh, doodles. I think they are meant to be gems but uh, I'm going to use them as maybe bubbles or I'm just going to use them to create a border. I like the color and the design. So I'm just going to pop them up. And the fun part about these pages is that you get two of them. You never get that feeling that you can't use this lovely design. You always have an identical one. So again, the same techniques like I did before, going around the edges with a black marker, then sticking everything down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. 
picking a quote from the sticker book and this time I went with the one that says you have one life, make the most of every moment. And then just like always I'm going to bring in my white marker to add the details. And I'm happy with how this page looks, so let's move on to the last one. For this one I decided to go with this flamingo and I absolutely love the contrasting color of pink on top of blue background, but I don't like that it has that uh, white space at the bottom. So that's why I'm using my craft knife just quickly to remove a piece. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you can still see the background in between the legs. As I was going around my flamingo to add the black uh, border, I made the boo, boo there, so I advise you to always do that border from the back, so even if you make a mistake you will uh, draw on top of the back. Anyway, I don't really mind, I will still use a flamingo and it's not going to matter at the end, you won't even see it. Now for this page I went back to my doodle stamps and uh, I am using one that is uh, a long line, it looks like a border of hearts and I just stamped it here and there along the edge so that I can uh, color it in later on. Now I did also pick up a few flowers from the booklet as well as a crown. I'm going to stick everything down just like I did before. I'm going to give my flamingo a crown. And for this page I went with a lovely quote from the booklet again that says Chin up, straighten your crown and rule thy kingdom. So again with my scissors I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. I'm going to stick it down. And I'm not going to show that process here, but I did go around it with my black marker. I did use my white gel pen to add highlights here and there, just like I did with the rest of the pages. I did also color in with white gel pen the hearts along the borders. And you can't have a crown without gems, that's why I'm going to bring in some white gems and stick them at the tips of the crown before I call this layout done. Now all these layouts are great to recreate as cards since they are pretty much the same size. So if you are not into art journaling but you like to make cards and you love these designs then this is another way to use up all these products. Now I'm going to bring in my little uh, mini art journal. I'm going to place that page inside and I'm going to flip through it so you can see exactly what I have up to now. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, you will see close-up photos at the end of this video. If you like this type of video and you want to see what I'll do on the rest of the pages, then leave me a comment below. Links to everything I used are just below in the description area. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.